the messy background today, but that is actually what this video is going to be about. I'm at home for the first time in ages for an extended period of time and my mum and I thought it was a good idea if I actually cleared away all my medals and trophies um, because they've sort of been here collecting dust and um, you know I'm getting to the stage of my life where we kind of have to pack up these things. So I thought I would maybe do this at the same time and show you and hopefully this will be semi-interesting. But before I begin I thought I would do like a little pan um, and a close-up of the trophies and stuff that are up there. Okay, first thing are these medals. These five are from um, university competitions called Bucks, which is British University and Collegiate Sport. And these are a few. First things first are these little medals. These are all from postal leagues that I did when I started shooting. So there's like 2008, nine on here and 2009, 10. It's really nice to see these. Other smaller medals are these ones from the Daily Record Indoor Championship from 2010 and 11. And this is from the Centipede Club, which is done at either Bisley or Scottish, uh, the Scottish meeting, and I won this in 2010. Next up, I have a whole bunch of these medals, and these are from the Triple S, um, competitions which is Scottish student sport which is the university competitions we do within Scotland so similar to the Bucks medals but these are within Scotland I've got quite a few of these but this is what one looks like I'll pick a gold one I picked up a silver here's a gold one to make it look like I win stuff <laughs> trying to pack this sensibly so I think the next thing I should pack is anything that comes in a big box and the biggest thing I have from that is this it is pretty ridiculous <laughs> I love it though this is the Scottish rifle meeting um, centenary competition for winning class C and um, this was a special thing you don't normally get big decanters like this but it says this is con con commemorating the Diamond Jubilee of the Queen, who's a patron of the NSRA, which is the National Shooting, uh, National Small Bore Rifle Association. As you'll notice, as we start going through this, there's a lot of like glassware and drinkware, and there's always a part of me that thinks I should use it because it's kind of just a waste. My boyfriend's funny because he's kind of blasé about these sort of things. Um, he's not very precious like I'm very precious with my things and he actually just uses all of his glassware and puts it in the dishwasher and everything which I think is hilarious. The next thing that I've got in a box is I have one, two, three, three quakes from St Andrews. Um, this is from the University of St Andrews and this is because I won stuff. This one is from being Athlete of the Year in 2013 to 2014. It's really nice. And then it's engraved along the side as well. I have two more of these and these are a little bit special because these have the 600 year engraving in it. Um, the University of St Andrews recently celebrated its 600 year anniversary and that was 2011 and 12 and I won the Professor Sam Taylor Award and I also got Athlete of the Year um, but look how nice these ones are. Uh, this is another cool one, it's a cool bit of glass. This is uh, the Young Sports Personality of the Year in 2009 from my local council and it is uh, like a glass pillar. Next up, I have my favourite thing I've ever won at shooting, ever, and it was way back in 2010. So it was one of the first things I ever won. It was actually at my first national meeting, and it is this badass glass crystal. 
Her ears jumped on the bed and she's wandering and this is precariously set up. I have three of these but this was my first ever one and these are from the National Small Bore Rifle Association, the NSRA again and this is from way back in 2010 and that's when I got silver in the championship aggregate. I was very proud of myself in my first ever like proper competition. So I got one for D class at Bisley. Oh, I actually have one that's from even before that. Um, that was from my first ever prawn competition. I have a few more uh, Triple S University medals to go in as well. These are coming a little bit of a fancier box. This next one is a little bit, it's not a trophy or a medal or anything that I won. It is a participation medal and some of you might think that's a little bit lame but you know I'm really proud of it because it is from uh, the World University Games and it's a medal to say that I was selected to represent um, Great Britain so I'm really proud of that even though some people might think it's a little bit lame. <laughs> I have just found a little shield as well um, which is the Annandale and SL Sports Award which is my local council recognition of achievement back in 2010. Uh, next up I have a whole bunch of medals from the Scottish Small Bore Rifle Association which is the SSRA um, because that's where I mainly compete in and I'll show you the style of them but you don't need to see every single one. So I've got one here from the Air Rifle Championship, the Scottish Championships in 2010 and one from 2012. So you'll see the different style but there's a whole bunch of them and they all look sort of the same. Oh wait, I've just found another style. I didn't even know they did this one. This was from 2010 from a Grand Prix. Right, that is a one box full. Ugh. It's completely full with all the boxes and those SSRA medals and stuff so I'll go grab another box and we'll do the fun stuff which is the glass. Box number two is here. Okay I think the most sensible way to pack these is to go in with my medals first and then we'll do the glassware. So these are more medals and these are mostly from uh, national meetings either the Scottish or the Bisley one and basically if you win something or if you get placed in something um, you'll quite often get a little medal so I have a whole bunch of these. Uh, next up I have four medals from the Great British Junior International match which is like the first sort of international match I did. Um, it's for juniors and these are from 2010, oh 2009, 2010, 2010. 12 and 2012. This one is from the Prince William of Wales medal. I think he must be like a patron. This is from 2013, class A. Um, you'll notice that I actually have more medals and trophies from a while ago and it sort of goes like, if this is a chart, um, when you start shooting and you're in the lower classes you can win quite a lot and then you win less as you get better <laughs> because you're like competing against people who are better and better and better because it's um, all classes. So this is one of the very few things I have won from class A, a tiny little medal. <laughs> and this one is a little bit of a special one as well. This is a medal that you could wear on your sports blazer and this is from the NSRA and it's for representing Great Britain in the Drew match which is against the States. And um, I represented in, I was part of the team in 2010, so I have a little bar on my medal to show that. On that same sort of style, I have these two medals, which is um, for when I've represented Scotland. These are not Scottish international caps, um, like going away to international matches. These are done for like home country matches at national meetings, like Bisley and the Scottish. So I got one. Uh, for air rifle and I must have been part of the Team Scotland in 2012. 
Okay, this one is a little bit more interesting. So this is for a prone rifle. And I've represented the ladies Scottish team in 2010, 2012 and 2014. And then I was in the main team in 2014 as well. So it's on top of the ladies because I put the ladies underneath the ladies bar. But that's a little bit more interesting. I have another participation medal. This is from the Nordic Championships from 2012 when we were in Oslo. This one is probably my favourite thing I've won just because it's nifty. It's like a gold-plated thing which is like the size of a credit card and I think it's really nifty. Um, and this is something you can win regularly unlike the big crystal thing which is like a once in a special thing. But look at it, it's just really nifty and nice. I got this at the British Air Rifle uh, Championships back in 2009. The last thing I have before getting on to the glassware is this little plate. This is a souvenir more than anything. Um, this is from Kazan in Russia from where we went to the World University Championships and the World University Games. So I got this little memento just because it's really sort of special and to remind myself of the biggest competition that I've ever been to. Um, it was crazy good and crazy amazing. Oh and one kind of not really um, glassware but kind of cool is this little pewter I think it's pewter. Yep, a little pewter sort of cup which I got in a local competition back in 2010 for coming third class in D third place in D class. The biggest uh, glassware I have is this like tank card um, which I got from 2012 from the same place a club called Appleton which do really good prizes. This is from their American shoot and this is the first of the glassware. Okay, now I have three tumblers, crystal glass, crystal tumblers, and they are all just similar patterns for winning first in class C at 50 yards a competition. It was in 2010 at the same competition, getting first place as a junior, and then doesn't say which year, but I got a first place as a junior, a different competition. I have a smaller tumbler now. I wish I knew what all these different glasses were related to different drinks, but I don't. Now I have some fancy wine glasses. I got four of them from being first and second places and stuff. They're a bit cool. Okay, and last but not least, I have three shot glasses. Shot, shot, shots. The really interesting thing is I have one shot glass for coming third. So you had like a tumbler, a wine glass, and then a shot glass, which makes sense. But then I also have two for being the first junior which is obviously, well done, you're under 21, have a shot glass. I just love it, it's so shooting, it's so shooting all over. <laughs> there we have it, I've got a completely empty shelf behind me now and I feel a little bit nostalgic and kind of proud of myself for winning all these things over quite a few different years and especially when I was starting out it was such a nice boost to get all these prizes and glasses and medals and stuff and like I've said before, I've spoken about my sport shooting quite a lot. I've made a whole different video. I'll put um, like a card and the little I button there if you want to check it out. And I hope you like this video. And if not, sorry.